In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an e-commerce website with your mobile phone. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, enable the bell icon so that you'll be notified for new video updates. We are going to build the e-commerce website in three steps. First is to get a domain and hosting. Now to get domain and hosting, click on the description below this video. So this is garanto.com where we are going to get our hosting and domain. So to get the hosting, click learn more. Then select the hosting plan you want. So I will choose this. So click select plan. Now enter the domain name you want to register with this hosting. So click check. So you can see congratulations, the domain name is available. You can choose other domain extensions, but I'll continue with this domain extension. So scroll down and click continue. So select your billing circle. I will select annual billing circle with free domain. Then scroll down. You can see that the total amount is $13.3, then click continue. Then select your currency. I will choose Nigerian Naira. Then scroll down and click continue. So here, enter your billing details and your billing address. Then create a password for this account. You enter your password. So I will enter the details now. I've done that. Then scroll down. You can see that I've created a password. So make sure you create a password that is stronger than mine. Then scroll down. You can see that the total amount is 5,000 Nigerian Naira. That is the annual payment for one year. Then click complete order. So here enter your card details, your card number, the expiry date and the CVV and click pay. So I'm going to make the payment now. Then enter your card PIN. So you receive an OTP. This is the OTP. So enter the OTP. Then click authorize payment. So you can see that the payment is now successful. So I've successfully gotten a domain. Now we have gotten our domain and hosting. Next is to install WordPress to our domain. To install WordPress, click Continue to client area. Then go to your control panel. So this is my control panel. From here, I will install the WordPress. So scroll down to software. Then click Softaclaw Apps Installer. Now select WordPress and click install. So you set up your WordPress here and username and password. So make sure you create a username and password for your account. Then here you can change the email if you want. So when you are done, scroll down and click install. So your WordPress will be installing. It will take a while, some seconds or minutes. So after installing the WordPress, you can see this is the link to my dashboard. So click on the link to your dashboard. So this is my WordPress Word dashboard. So to continue, I'm going to install the WooCommerce plugin. This is e-commerce website. So go to your dashboard and go to plugins. Then click add new and type WooCommerce. This is the WooCommerce plugin. So click install now. and click activate. Now go to the plugin you just installed, go to WooCommerce, go to settings, so here set up your business, enter your business information, so you enter your business name, 
enter your address, your postal code, set up the business information just the way you want it. You follow the instructions and enter your business details. So when you are done, click here to select your currency. The default currency is pound. So I will select Nigerian Naira. So you can type it here, Naira. Then select your country. I'll select my country, Lagos, Nigeria. Then when you are done, scroll down and click Save Changes. So go to Appearance, go to Teams. We are going to add a new team. So click Add New, Add New Team. Then enter the team name you want to add, type Astra. We are going to install the Astra team. Then click Install. This is the team. Click Install. Then click Activate. So we have activated the team. So if you take it to this page. So click Install Importer Details. Then select Elementor. Our page builder will be Elementor, so select Elementor. Then click here to select the category of team you want. I will select e-commerce. So this are e-commerce team. So select a team that has no agency on top. The teams with agency are paid, but the ones without agency are free. So I'll select this. This team has no agency. Then scroll down and click preview. So you preview the team. So this is how the team will look like on our website. This is a demo website. So if you like this demo website, go back and click import complete site. Then click import. So our demo website will be importing. It will take a while depending on your network. So click view site. So we have successfully gotten a website with Astra team. So this is now our website. We can now edit the content and redesign it the way we want. So if I go to the desktop site, let's see how it will look like on desktop. You can see this is how our website will look like on desktop. Now that we have successfully installed the e-commerce demo website, next is to set up our own e-commerce store. Now click here and go to your dashboard. Then go to products and go to all products. We are going to remove all the products in this demo website. So these are the products in the demo website. We are going to remove them, then add our own product. So to remove this demo web product, go up and click here. Then all the product are now selected once, then scroll down and click bulk action. Then select move to trash and click apply. So all the products are now removed. If I go back to my website, click visit site. You can see there is no more products in our featured products. So if I go to all products, you can see that the shop is now empty. So we are going to add our own product. So to add our product, go here and go to dashboard, then go to products, 
then click add new then enter the name of the product here so i'll type rollers watch then scroll down enter the price the regular price and the sell price the regular price will be bigger than the sell price so i'll enter the regular and the sell price then scroll to your left and create a category for this product so click add new category then enter the name of the category i'll type watches watches is the name of my category then click add new category you can see that our category is now added then scroll down and add a product tag so i will type watch as my product tag then click add then scroll down to set the product image so click here set product image then click upload files and click select files so we are going to select the image from our mobile phone so choose an image the image of the product you want to upload so this is the image then click set product image so we have now uploaded the image then go up go up and click publish now if we go back to our website and click visit site then go back to all product you can see we have successfully added one product so in this method you can add many more products so to add many more products you just have to go back to your dashboard then go to products then click add new then enter the name of the product you want to add so i'll enter the name apple watch so i'll add another product apple watch then scroll down you can see this is the product apple watch this is the url to the product then enter the product tag so i'll put apple watch as the product tag then click add tag then scroll down and select the category so i will add it under the category watches then scroll down and set the product image click here set product image then click upload files and click select files so select the file the product image from your mobile phone just like we did before so i'll select an image again then click set product image then scroll down to add the price so add the price the regular price and the sell price the sell price is smaller than when you are done go up and click publish so if i go back to my store so click here and click visit site then go to my menu and go to all products you can see i have successfully added another product so this is the first product i added so in the same way i'll add three more products so i've done that i've added three more products so now we have five products in our store so this is how to add products you can add as many as possible so if i go to my home page there is no product here so to make the product appear here in our future products go back to your dashboard go to your dashboard and go to products then go to all products 
So these are the five products. So select the product you want to appear on your home page. So click here. Then click on the star icon of each product you want to appear. Click on the star icon. I have start this product. Then select another product you want to appear and click on the star icon. So I have star this product again. So click another product you want to appear and click on the star icon. So I've done that for four products. So all the products that I start will appear on my home screen. So click here to edit the page, the page you want them to appear. Then click edit with Elementor. So I will go to my desktop site to have a better view of this. So go to desktop site. Then go to the featured product, the place you want your product to appear. So I want them to appear here under the featured product. So click on this box, this box, the place you want them to appear, click here, then go to your left. So we are going to edit the HTML. So here you can see the product limit is eight and the column is five. We have four columns. So we want them to appear here. So remove this mox. So we are going to remove this mox and enter our new category watches. Then click apply and scroll down and click update. So you can see that the product have now appeared in our home page. So all the star products will now appear in our home page. Now, if I go back to my mobile view, but before then you can edit any content in this page. You can de delete any content you want from this page and replace it with your own content. You can delete the images. So if I go back to my mobile view, go back to mobile view and scroll down, you can see this is how the product will appear on mobile view. So if a customer select a product, they can add the product to their cart and view cart. Then they can scroll down and proceed to checkout. Then here they are going to fill in their details. So let's assume I'm a customer and I want to buy this product. So I can easily fill in my details, but you can see here, there is no payment gateway. So they cannot purchase this product because we have not added a payment gateway. So for you to sell this product, you need to add PayPal, Paystack or Stripe. So this is how it works. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Enable the bell icon to receive more videos like this. See you in the next video.